Hi everyone, in this video, I'll talk about a frustrating under-extrusion issue I had with my Bamboo Lab P1S 3D printer with AMS. I'll explain how I identified the problem, the steps I took to troubleshoot, and how I eventually fixed it. Let's get started. Step 1. Identifying the issue. Under-extrusion is usually easy to spot. The first sign is the filament purge at the start of a print. Be sure to check your poop for consistency. If it looks uneven or different than usual, this is a warning sign. Next, check the purge line. If it's thinner or has gaps, there is likely a problem. Poor first layer adhesion can also be a big clue. Step 2. Understanding my setup. Here's some background on my printer. I have a Bamboo Lab P1S with two AMS units. For these prints, I only used one AMS unit. My printer has about 3,000 hours of use, and I recently replaced the hot end assembly. The new hot end had about 200 hours of use. Step 3. The problem begins. The issue first appeared on a model I've printed many times before without issues. This ruled out problems with the file. After the first failure, I saw the nozzle was clogged. I cleared it and restarted the print, but under extrusion continued. Step 4. First attempts to fix it. I replaced the entire hot end assembly and opened new rolls of filament, thinking there might be a contaminant in the filament. This hasn't happened before with Elegoo filament, but I wanted to be sure. Unfortunately, the print failed again at the same layer. Next, I replaced the extruder assembly. This worked for a similar issue on another Bamboo Lab printer. I also cleared the nozzle using a needle at 250 degrees Celsius. I felt confident this time, but the purge line still showed signs of under-extrusion. Step 5. Back to basics, I decided to focus on basic maintenance. I cleaned out loose filament debris. I cleaned and re-lubricated the Z-axis rods. I moved the filament roll to a different AMS unit. I started a new print, and everything looked good at first. But two hours later, severe under-extrusion appeared again. Step 6. Digging deeper. While cleaning earlier, I noticed fine white debris inside the machine. Since I was using white filament, I assumed it was from the under-extrusion. Later, I realized the Bowden tube had been rubbing against the glass lid, causing wear. I replaced the Bowden tube, thinking the issue was solved. Unfortunately, my test print still showed under-extrusion. Step 7. Final fix. At this point, I considered replacing the extruder motor. But before doing that, I decided to replace all the Bowden tube segments through the AMS and the printer. Thankfully, this solved the issue. My prints returned to normal and everything is working again. Step 8. Why I didn't adjust settings. I didn't change slicer settings, printer settings, or the print environment. Why? Because I had printed this model before with no issues. I used the same saved .3NF file, so I knew none of these variables had changed. I focused on mechanical troubleshooting instead. Closing tips. Here are my tips if you experience under-extrusion. Keep a simple benchmark model and its 3MF file for future comparisons. Always check the nozzle for clogs first. Focus on mechanical troubleshooting if other factors like filament and settings remain consistent. If you've faced other causes of under-extrusion, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your experiences and learn from them. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more 3D printing tips and guides.